Hey everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll be sharing some of the most useful tips and tricks that I've picked up while playing DayZ. If you're new to this game, you're probably feeling overwhelmed and vulnerable, just like a newborn baby. DayZ is an unforgiving and challenging survival game where you can make friends, explore, and experience thrilling adventures. But it's also a place where you're just as likely to be taken out by another player as you are by the elements. That's why I'm here to help you navigate through DayZ and equip you with the essential knowledge and skills you need to survive and thrive in this post-apocalyptic world. So sit tight, relax, and let's dive into the exciting world of DayZ. Spawning is the first step for players entering the world of DayZ. It is a crucial moment, as it sets the stage for the rest of the game. When you first spawn, you will be facing north, regardless of where you spawned. This can be helpful when trying to navigate your way through the game. Survivors typically spawn near the coast, but the specific location is unknown. This adds an element of surprise to the game, as players are forced to adapt to their surroundings. In official servers, players will start with some basic supplies such as bandages and a glow stick. However, on community servers, the starting supplies can vary depending on the preferences of the admin. Sometimes players might start with food or a melee weapon, but it's never a guarantee. One helpful tip for navigating the world of DayZ is to pay attention to the rising and setting of the sun. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west, which can help players determine what direction they are heading, especially during dawn or dusk. Since there is no map in the game, players must depend on street signs and landmarks to figure out where they are. The iZervive map can also be a useful tool in helping players find their way around. At the start of the game, players will be equipped with a shirt, pants, and shoes. However, your survivor will be cold, so finding warmer clothes is essential for survival. This can be challenging for new players, as they may not know where to look for better clothing. As players progress through the game, they will discover that there are different tiers of loot available in different regions, with the coastal region being the lowest tier. Spawning in DayZ can be a daunting experience for new players. It requires adaptability, patience, and a willingness to learn. And while starting with only basic supplies, players can gradually acquire better gear to help them survive in the harsh post-apocalyptic world of DayZ. The first step to surviving in DayZ is essential, and it starts with finding food, water, and clothing. Without these basic necessities, your character will slowly deteriorate and eventually die. When you first spawn in DayZ, you'll be faced with an immediate need to find water, as your character will be thirsty. In most towns, there will be a fountain where you can refill your water bottle, and it's important to do this as soon as possible. Additionally, it's essential to find food. Zombies can often have food or soda on them, so it's worth searching for them if you encounter one. Clothing is also an important aspect of survival, as it can help keep you warm and protect you from the elements. You can find clothing on zombies or in houses, and it's essential to search these areas to increase your chances of survival. In addition to these basic necessities, it's also important to find a melee weapon. You never know when you'll need to defend yourself, and having a weapon will give you a better chance of surviving an encounter with a zombie or another player. Searching around houses and sheds can often lead to finding useful items, including melee weapons. In summary, the first step in DayZ is to find food, water, clothing, and a weapon. By doing so, you'll increase your chances of survival and be better equipped to handle the challenges that lie ahead. In DayZ, encountering zombies is an inevitability when searching for essential resources such as food and water. However, fighting them may not always be the best option. Engaging in combat can alert other zombies and players to your presence, potentially leading to your demise. As a noob, it's important to learn how to avoid zombies, and if needed, how to fight them efficiently. Pressing the C key to crouch can help you move more quietly, making it easier to avoid zombies. When a zombie attacks you simply walk backwards while blocking, this will stop the zombie from injuring you. When the zombie hits the ground with its arms, it's time for you to attack. Hit the zombie once or twice, and then go back into defensive mode. Keep doing this until the zombie is defeated. You can also increase the power of your attack by pressing the shift key while you're attacking, but keep in mind this depletes your stamina much more quickly. Attacks with melee weapons are more powerful, but punching can work as well. Just make sure that you're aiming for the zombie's head, so aim a little high while fighting. 
using a silenced weapon is the best option to take out zombies. One bullet to the brain and they'll be flat out on the ground. It's crucial to be mindful of a zombie's scream, as this can draw more zombies to your location. If you're fighting a zombie, it's best to take the initiative and attack it before it has a chance to scream. Remember to be cautious and avoid engaging multiple zombies at once, as this can quickly become overwhelming. It's also worth noting that searching zombies' bodies after defeating them can yield useful items such as food, clothing, or backpacks. All in all, learning how to handle zombies is a crucial part of surviving in DayZ. Avoid them when you can, fight them effectively when you must, and always be aware of your surroundings. You might be thinking, what now? As a new player in DayZ, your first priority is to find essential supplies for survival. Once you have found the necessary items, it's time to start moving inland. In DayZ, there is a tier system that determines the quality of items you can find in a particular area. The higher the tier, the better the loot. The eastern coastal region is considered Tier 1, and you can find basic items there. As you move a little farther inland towards the west, you'll reach Tier 2 areas, where you can find better supplies. Tier 3 areas are located very far to the west, and they offer some of the best gear for survival. Military bases and some major towns in the west are considered Tier 4, and they offer the highest quality items in the game. In conclusion, knowing the tier system and moving inland is crucial to improving your chances of survival in DayZ. Remember to stay discreet, avoid attracting zombies, and always be on the lookout for better gear. With these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to mastering the game. In DayZ, having a reliable weapon is essential to surviving the game. There are two main types of weapons, melee and firearms. When starting out, it's recommended to find a melee weapon, which can be found in sheds and houses. Melee weapons have multiple functions and can be used to attack zombies and other players. Some examples of melee weapons are knives, shovels, sledgehammers, and axes. Firearms, on the other hand, are more powerful and should be found with their corresponding ammo and magazine. Keep in mind that firearms will wear down over time and could potentially jam, so it's important to find a gun cleaning kit to maintain your weapon's condition. Once you have a firearm, you can also add attachments like sights, grips, scopes, and stocks. However, it's important to note that not all attachments fit on all firearms. When loading your firearm, make sure you have the correct ammo and magazine. To load the magazine, hold it in your hand and combine it with the correct ammo. Then, add the magazine to your weapon to have a fully loaded and functioning firearm. If you find a firearm without a magazine, you can still load a single bullet in it, just in case. Remember that the use of firearms should be handled with care, since they can easily give away your position and attract zombies and other players. It's important to avoid attracting unwanted attention and to use your weapon strategically. So, be discreet and stay alive. Hunting is a fundamental aspect of Daisy, a game where survival is the ultimate goal. One of the best ways to get food in this game is by hunting for animals. Chickens are a common sight near the coast, and they can be hunted for their meat. However, it's crucial to approach them quietly and attack them with either your fists or a melee weapon. Once you have caught the chicken, you need to skin and quarter it using a knife or any sharp object. This process can also be applied to other animals such as goats, pigs, boars, cows, deer, foxes, and bears. It's important to keep in mind that the meat obtained from these animals needs to be stored in your inventory and cooked before consumption since it's still raw. In Daisy, starting a fire is an essential survival skill. You can use fire for warmth, a heat boost, or for cooking food. Knowing how to start a fire can be the difference between life and death in this game. To begin, gather some bark by approaching a tree with a saw, knife, or an axe, and selecting gather bark. Save this bark in your inventory, as it will serve as your source of fuel. You'll also need a source of ignition such as matches, a lighter, a road flare, or a hand drill. You can create a hand drill kit by combining bark and a wooden stick. However, be aware that there is a chance it may fail to light the fire, which will consume the hand drill kit, and you'll need to make another. Next, you need wood or sticks to start the fire. You can cut down a tree to gather logs by using an axe and selecting chop wood. After that, you can either make a fireplace or add logs to a wood stove in a house. To create a fireplace kit, combine the short stick with either paper or bandages. If you're using a wood stove, Carry the logs into the house and attach them to the fireplace. 
You can view all the components of the fireplace by hitting the tab key while standing next to it. Once you have everything set up, you can ignite the fireplace using a lighter, matches, or a road flare. Now you can add food to the fireplace to cook it. However, it's essential to keep an eye on the food while cooking as it can easily burn. In conclusion, mastering the art of starting a fire in DayZ is crucial to survival. By doing so, you can ensure that you have a reliable source of warmth, food, and heat boost to help you navigate the challenging terrain of this game. Cooking. Cooking is an essential aspect of survival in DayZ, and knowing how to do it properly can greatly increase your chances of staying alive. Once you have a fire going, you can begin cooking your food. There are a few methods you can use to cook your food, such as placing it in a fireplace or attaching it to a long stick, which can be gathered from trees when they are chopped down. When cooking raw food, it's important to watch it closely to ensure that it doesn't burn. Overcooked food will be ruined and won't be safe to eat. It's also important to cook raw meat to kill any potential diseases and make it safe for consumption. For fruits and vegetables, cooking them will prevent them from rotting and becoming unsafe to eat after sitting too long. However, it's worth noting that fruits and veggies can be eaten raw as long as they aren't rotten and won't cause any harm to the player. There are several ways to cook your food in Day Z, such as using a cooking pot, fireplace, frying pan, or a long sharpened stick. All of these methods will work, and it's up to you to decide which one to use depending on the situation. In conclusion, cooking is an essential skill to master in Day Z. By cooking your food, you'll not only make it safe to eat, but also increase its usefulness to you as a player. Other players. In Day Z, the most dangerous element of the game is other players. These players can be a threat in many ways, as some may simply shoot you on sight and take your gear, while others may kill you just for the fun of it. It is important to stay away from other players and avoid contact whenever possible. If you do find yourself in a situation where you are near other players, it is important to keep your distance and keep moving. Players on official servers tend to be more aggressive and more likely to kill you, but even on community servers, caution is still advised. Despite any claims of being friendly, it is crucial to remain vigilant and not let your guard down. As some players may lie about their intentions and betray you in an instant, it is best to never trust anyone in DayZ. This was made clear to me in a recent encounter where I was speaking with one player while another snuck around and shot me from behind, despite both players claiming to be friendly. Therefore, it is important to remember that in DayZ, other players can be the greatest threat, and it is essential to be constantly aware of your surroundings and remain cautious in order to survive. So, that's all the tips and tricks I have for new players just starting off in DayZ. If you're new to the game, then welcome. DayZ is an incredible game where you can meet great people and have epic adventures. I really hope you liked this video. It was made possible using ChatGPT and Eleven Labs voiceovers. One, so if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.